Friday. It's been a short week because we had a long weekend last weekend. So I'm not sure why I feel like it's Friday. Usually Fridays I feel a little bit more tired because it's you know, the whole week. But we'll be okay. Maybe it's because I haven't had my second coffee yet. We'll get that going. We'll get the blood pumping. Ugh. We're going to get our stuff into the truck here. I'm going to go hook on to a flat roll tight and head up to Arburg again. dropped just a little bit higher than than normal for my truck I thought I was gonna slip underneath the kingpin I hate it when that happens especially first thing in the morning such a headache then you got to go and crank up the trailer raise it up so that you can drive out again then crank it back down so that you can drive under and hook up it hasn't happened to me in a long time it has happened before like two or three times in the last 15 years but uh, that's always a pain at any time, but she's hooked on. Don't worry, we'll double, triple, quadruple check. You see how there's a little gap in there yet? Can you see that? So the trailer's not quite, quite resting on it, which, which means that whoever dropped it probably had just a slightly higher fifth wheel than, than me. And if you're wondering what that is, fifth wheel is that. It's attached to the truck, it hooks onto the trailer. We call that a fifth wheel. I don't know why right now, but you could probably Google it. Let me know in the comments, I'll learn something with you. I have been told before, I just don't know why. That's the fifth wheel. And uh, sometimes the frame sits a little higher or lower, depending on which truck you're on. So it's still hooked on, it's still good. Phillips Avenue in Winnipeg and we definitely got something going on up here because traffic is all confused and everybody's in the mindset of hey I need to get in front of that big truck oh I see what's going on here there's some cops there's a tow truck it must have been an accident here I see I see right now and I'm in the left lane because I have to turn left up ahead here 
I had been told to bring this lumber here, so here I am. It came all the way from Revelstoke, British Columbia. So it's been on the road for two days already. And now here I am dealing with it in traffic. I have a whole case of this bolt's not greasable at home. I gotta show it to you yet. It's one of the newest, uh, one of the newest products that I got. And I wanna give it a shot uh, on these roll tights on the wheels. You know, work always gives us that 45 grease. I'd like to try the bull snot on it. And if it works well, you know, bull snot's coming into Canada in January. I'm gonna try to talk them into uh, possibly moving over to bull snot instead. But we'll see, we'll see how good it works first. I have a feeling it's gonna work pretty good though. Okay, Elgin Avenue. Elgin, is that what you call it? Elgin, this one right here. Not down there at the lights, this one right here. Gotta drag my 75 foot butt around here. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait for a red light up there probably, because I'm gonna take a while getting across this. Unless I can find a gap in traffic, maybe here. No, nope, that van's gonna turn in and take my opportunity from me. And then the SUV, and then the car. I'm just gonna have to go. Oh, I'm too nice though, you see, I'm too nice. Okay, after this car, no more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Nice Guy, I'm going. sticks I got for them. Here we go, all the way in the back. I'm gonna shove me all the way in the back where nobody can see. <laughs> That's okay, I'm gonna get unloaded here. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna nose up. I don't know where they want to unload me exactly. There's lots of space here. I guess I'll just nose up against that tree up ahead there. And that done it. Take it from there. Yeah, should be good. Okay. It's time to actually do some work. On a Friday. Oh, man. Oh, that's that vi virology lab right there. You see that white building in the background there? That is uh, our Canadian Center for Virology and Research. So you know the, everyone knows about the Wuhan Institute of Virology, right? In China. I'm pretty sure you've heard of this thing going around. It came from there. Uh, that's our version of it right there. This nasty thing going around the world right now, it's studied right there. If there was ever a leak, it would be coming from that building right there. Good thing we have uh, safety measures in place here. 
that that doesn't happen. I don't even want to know all the viruses and stuff that they're studying in there. Freaks me out. I heard that that's why they built the perimeter highway around Winnipeg, that if there ever was a vi virus leak, that uh, everything inside the perimeter would be quarantined immediately. You wouldn't be able to leave the perimeter. Which makes sense, because then you can contain it to one city and not, uh, you know, spread it to the entire world. So we have a plan in place. Not everybody has a plan in place, but we do. So it makes me nervous. Like that's the that's the big one right there. Crazy, right? Okay, we're leaving there now. It suddenly got very hot outside. Oh, it's like the heat of summer. Look at that, no traffic, just for me. Oh, oh. Mark that down in the history books. Make a record of that. Didn't have to wait for traffic. So from here I find that the, the quickest way out of the city is going to be straight up McPhillips uh, to the perimeter and then around to work. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh great, I take that back about the traffic. Fantastic, spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Lovely. It's a little after three o'clock on a Friday afternoon. Everybody's in a hurry to get to the lake. It's going to be one of the last nice weekends to be at the lake. So it's been a very forgetful week for me. I forgot where I put you guys at the beginning of the week. Now I almost forgot you guys in my truck again. Well, I didn't actually do it last time, but I almost actually forgot you in my truck this time. And I forgot to bring a battery charger for you. So I've had to be very careful how much I film today. That's why I didn't film quite as much. We're at 31% right now. Uh, it's been a forgetful week. <laughs> to the weekend. I forgot more stuff in my truck. How many things can a geese breath forget in one day? That should be a challenge. It can just be a challenge for me. How many things can I forget in a day? Oh, wait, wait. No, I didn't forget it. It's in my bag. Let's just double check. One second. I just want to make sure this gate doesn't close on me again. I'm going to park right in the middle of it. I'm going to block it all. Okay. Don't close. You're going to hit my truck. I might need to go back. One second. Where are you? One second. One second. Gotta make sure I got my coffee cups. You're not gonna close, are you? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. Oh, there it is. Ah, there it is. It's my other one just like this. It's in my bag. Okay. So I thought I forgot it in my truck, but I forgot that I didn't forget it. It's actually in my bag. I just forgot I put it in my bag. And I forgot about that pothole again, too. Okay. Now, where was I going? Home! That's right, we're going home. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, Chevy's number one. Big Frank's number two. Diesel's number three. And Wiener is nowhere to be seen, of course. A typical rock star welcome. Oh, and you guys are losing battery life. I better plug you guys in. Are you looking my f fingers? That felt funny. That tickled. Oh boy. You excited? What'd you do all day today? It's hot outside today, man. It's very hot. You wanna go outside? Wanna go outside? How are you? Diesel, wanna go outside? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'll open the door, man. Alright guys, and they're off. I'm gonna go find Wiener. 
He's somewhere desperately uh, imagining that I don't exist. Oh, mama's boy. Is there a mama's boy in here? Oh, there he is. This is a mama's boy. Mama's boy. Come on, let's go outside and join your brothers. You know, they're excited to see me when I come home. It's kind of nice, you know. <laughs> 